To begin, grab your four favorite colors and fold the string in half. Tie a knot a half an inch from the top. After you pull it tight, place that knot under the butterfly clip and make sure it's in place. Now, in slot two and slot nine is going to be your border. I want my border to be blue. And then the middle slots are going to be your arrows. So you want to match up the same color in three and eight which I'll be doing light purple, and four and seven, which mine is going to be dark purple, and five and, five and six will be the two remaining colors. Mine's white. Now to begin, pick up the number two with your right hand and the number three with your left and do a right-handed knot. Now switch the strings so that the blue, your border color, is in your opposite hand and the white would be in your right. And I'll do a left-handed knot. This brings the blue string back to the number two slot. Bring up the number four in your left hand and do two right-handed knots, just like the arrow pattern. Place the four string in your three slot and pick up the five and do two more right-handed knots. The string from five should go into four, and your remaining string will go into five. Okay, now we're gonna move to the other side. Pick up the nine with your left hand, and the eight with your right, and create a left-handed knot. Now switch hands, so the blue should be on the outside again, your border color, and create a right-handed knot. The border should go back to the nine slot. It'll always be on the outside. Use your right hand to pick up the number seven and do two left-handed knots. Seven goes to eight. Pick up six with your right hand. Two more left-handed knots. And now you should have the same color in the center and do two more left-handed knots to join your arrow. Now you're going to do the pattern over again. Pick up the number two string in your right hand, the three in your left, and do a right-handed knot. Now switch places, so the blue, the background, should be in your left hand, and do a left-handed knot. Place the blue back in the two slot, pick up the four in your left, and do two right-handed knots. The four will go to the three, Pick up the five in your left and do two more left-handed knots. And put your remaining string in the number five slot. Now moving to the other side, pick up the nine in your left hand, the eight in your right, and do one left-handed knot. And then remember to switch places so the outside, the blue is back on the outside again and create a right-handed knot. Placing the blue back in the nine slot, your background color, pick up the number seven and do two left-handed knots. The seven moves to the eight, pick up the six, two more left-handed knots. And now both dark purple should be in the center and create two more left-handed knots to join your arrow. Now that you've completed two rows, we'll go through it one more time. Pick up the number two, your background color in your right, and the number three in your left. Create a right-handed knot, switch hands, and create a left-handed knot. Background color is always on the outside. Pick up the number four and create two right-handed knots. Move it to the three, pick up the five in your left, two more right-handed knots. The five, has moved into, the five has moved to the four and put your leftover color in the five. Moving to the other side, the nine goes in your left hand and you'll create one left-handed knot. Now switch sides so the blue's on the outside again and one right-handed knot. 
pick up the number seven in your right hand and create two more left-handed knots. The seven moves to the eight, pick up the six, and two more left-handed knots. And you should have the same color in the center again, and to join them, two more left-handed knots. After a while, you'll see your pattern start to grow. Pick up the border color in your right hand, the three in your left, and create a right-handed knot. Switch spots and create a left-handed knot with your border color. Place the border back to the two slot. Pick up the four in your left and create two right-handed knots. Move the four to the three, pick up the five, and two more right-handed knots. The five moves to the four and your leftover string goes right in the middle. Pick up the nine with your left hand, your border color, and do one left-handed knot. Remember to switch hands so your border is back on the outside and create a right-handed knot. The border goes back into the nine slot, pick up the seven, and create two left-handed knots. The seven moves to the eight, and you can then pick up the six and make two more left-handed knots. Now you should have the same colors in the middle, mine's light purple, and I'll create two more left-handed knots to finish off the arrow. Once you start to reach the end of your bracelet, your strings start to get a little bit short. In that case, you can move the butterfly clip down to give you more strings and make them easier to hold at the bottom. Now with our border, we're gonna create a right-handed knot, switch hands, and a left-handed knot with that border. Place the border back in the two slot and pick up the four and create two right-handed knots. The four moves to the three, pick up the five with your left, two more right-handed knots. The five moves to the four and your leftover color goes in the five. Now working from the other side, pick up the border or the nine in your left hand and create a left-handed knot. Now switch strings and create a right-handed knot. Moving the border back to the nine, pick up the eight, and create two left-handed knots. Seven moves to eight, pick up the seven and create two left-handed knots. Now you should have the same color for your five and six and create two left-handed knots to finish your arrow. Now that your bracelet's long enough, it's really quite simple to finish. Grab the three strings on the left and the right, so there's two in the middle, and create a simple braid. This will help you tie your knot. When you think your braid is long enough, Make a, knot, make a knot using this braid and pull it tight. Then twist it to make one more knot on top of that 